PDP delegate, one of the people that went to the National Stadium in Abuja as a delegate to elect Atiku Abubakar as a presidential candidate of the PDP, has donated all his proceeds to community members and pays school fees for students. Nigerians have lately came to understand, come to understand that the party delegates are the greatest problem Nigeria have now because the party selects them to go and elect somebody to contest as a president of Nigeria. And these delegates do not care about the individuals, whether they are thieves, whether they have been convicted by the EFCC, whether they are corrupt, whether they have stolen, whether they are even using their own money, though the delegates, money of their states, to buy them. They don't care. All they know is any, delegate, any candidate that gives them the highest amount of money is the person they will vote for. They don't care whether the person will work or will not work. And we had it that even some contestants were given as much as that $5,000 per delegate at Abuja. It became a, 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 a rain of dollars. They are no more spending Naira because it's too big to carry. And the FCC was forced to go there and watch what is happening. But before they came, all the money has been shared already. They are the new millionaires in town, the delegates, party delegates. And now one of them turned, I don't know what to call this, whether religious or uh, humanitarian, he collected all the money, did the voting, came out, and he donated the proceeds to his community members and paid school fees for us. We are going to tell you who this man is, where he's coming from, and how much money, so that you have an idea of what we are talking about. But before we give you those fine details, we plead with you, to subscribe to our channel if you have not done so click on the notification bell so that these top news will always come to you when we release them and share this video with your friends and family let it go viral now let's tell you who this man is his name is mr tanko rossi sabo a pdp delegate who came back with the money he got and has shared it all with his community in Sanga, local government area of Kaduna State. According to the former special assistant media to late Governor Yakowa of Kaduna State, Ruben Buhari, Sabo spent the, the delegates spent seven million alone on the less privileged in his community. He spent seven million, so you can imagine how much money he got in total. He bought jerseys, paid school fees, and hospital fees. He, he distributed the rest to other support groups, said Buhari. Whatever is the argument on whether he was right in collecting the money or not, my consolation is that hundreds of the less privileged in the community are smiling today. For that, I say, well done, Tanko, he added. Tanko Rossi Sabo was among the Kaduna state delegates who were at the National Convention of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, where former Vice President Atiku Abubakar emerged as a presidential candidate. You have seen it. As you watch this video, you will see the photograph. On top of that blue table is heaps of bundles of Naira. It came from Mr. Sabo. Seven million in total. That's what he brought out to share. The question is, how much then did he receive in total? I don't know. But I have a very more important question. If you are giving seven million in cash at a convention, will you vote your conscience or you vote based on the money you received? If Mr. A gives you seven million 
and you know that Mr. B is the best candidate, will you collect the 7 million and still vote B? Or will you collect the 7 million and vote for the man who gave you the 7 million? And mind you, 7 million is not all the money. It's quite a lot more, I imagine, in this situation. That is the situation we have found ourselves in Nigeria. So politics is nothing. Your PVC is nothing. When the election comes, they will also share some money. Some people will get 1,000 naira and they will forget their PVC. The right person they wanted to vote, they will vote for anybody they see. Some will get bags of rice, tin of tomato and whatever. And because they have not eaten it in one month, they will collect it and vote for the person who gave them this. How will this democracy survive? It's not only the political actors, it's also we, the normal citizen, who helped to concoct the whole thing. And democracy in Nigeria has become a, a joke. As the year go by, instead of the thing getting better, it's getting worse. The amount of money being shared at the convention this year was not the same in 1999 when we started this thing again. It wasn't the same. And 20, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, it wasn't the same. As we move, the thing is getting worse and worse. It has become uh, merchandised, highly monetized. Some people resign. Some people feel that it's hitting their conscience. Uh, uh, conscience. In the PDP, two presidential candidates resigned. Peter will be resigned. How you didn't resign? Pulled out of the rest. And two of them mentioned the same thing, that the whole thing has become highly monetized. It's now... <laughs> The highest bidder. And this man did this. I leave you to this story. You can judge his moral conscience, whether he was right in collecting it and whether he was right in spending it after. You can go to the comment section, say your opinion on this. We really invite you to do that. So we appreciate you for coming by to watch this video. Now you have full evidence in your hand that the delegates had a problem. You have a name of somebody who has been a delegate and shared the money and you have some amount that he shared. So you can now make up your mind and say what you think. Thank you once again. See you in our next video. Remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell to receive our top news again. Remain blessed.